Who say, hey, those of us who've been here a long time, can you, can you see? Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. I promise I will, all will be revealed. Uh, all will be revealed before the end of the evening, shall we say. About one half of four score and seven days ago, I got a phone call from a gentleman who lives in the city of Rowlett. He said to me, we are hosting the Freedom Festival. He said, the Freedom Festival will have bands and music and, and fireworks, and what it needs is a stilt-walking Uncle Sam. And I said, why, of course, the circus freaks can provide this. I penned the deal. I hung up the phone and said, well, crap, I probably should get on making that costume I don't have. <laughs> when you do this, and please, new people, don't do this. <laughs> we are masters of improv, which is to say we're willing to screw up and fail. <laughs> okay, go ahead and do this. What I did was a bit of research first, and the first thing I noticed in hoping that I could just order something in was that most of the store-bought Uncle Sam costumes are horrifyingly tacky. And I did a little more research and I said, well, what did Uncle Sam look like before it went completely off the rails? And he was, oh, he was kind of a badass. You look at the old, he looked good. I mean, he's probably, if he was around today, be like Dayton Lady Liberty getting into clubs you never heard of. And I said, there's the answer. In order to go forward, we gotta go back. Let's do a retro Uncle Sam. But let's take it a step further. Let's take it a step further, I thought. I said, let's take it all the way. We have so much talent in our community. Let's start tapping the regulars. For the top hat, I got Sharon Sullivan from Dream Hats. Sharon stepped up, put her millinery elves to work, and gave me a spot-on, vintage-looking Uncle Sam hat with the big wide band and the star right here. I said, okay. Our very own Amanda Mayfield stepped up. She tailored me a pair of pants big enough to go over my stilts, but still tailored enough to make even me look pretty fly. Even, even when all of these things came, came together and I, I was running out of time. I looked online and I found an American vintage clothing recreator that made Western cut vests that would perfectly match the costume in the right color of blue. And I had it shipped in made in America. And then even after all of that, people just started getting involved in this thing. It started snowballing. Gabe, who was sitting out front, probably snapped her hand or took your money, checked your ID. Gabe took me to 12 stores to find the right color of off-white for the shirt. You gotta realize, he and I are not shoppers. <laughs> so we're standing there with scraps of fabric going, mm, 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 yes, okay. And we put all this together, and I put it on, and everyone had committed so much time. And I, I, I got all dressed up, and I looked, and I said, there's only one thing wrong. Everyone's given all of their energy. Uh, yeah, it's got to go. And so I shaved off my mustache after 20 years. Wow. 20 years. So. Please hold your mustache commentary for the mustache moment that will be brought up later this evening. In the meantime, I got out to the city of Rowlett. They left out some details. I would not be performing for a small handful of people in this perfect reenactment. I would stand tall as a symbol of our nation in front of 10,000 people. But in my head, in my head and, and in my little circus heart, yeah, I was Uncle Sam, but I was something else. I was a symbol of what we are when we all grab our energy and shove it together, pick a direction, collaborate and run like hell in that direction. And I was really really proud of us. Thank you so much for that. And most of all, I realize that sometimes it is an enormous pain in the butt being a symbol. I, I appear a lot of the times, I feel like a parade float. I mean, I'm, I'm baggy pants and waving at people and smiling and a little disconnected. There's no solace for that, but I can give you a piece of advice if you're going to represent something at some point in your life. Make sure you're a symbol of something you believe in completely. I'm a symbol. I stand up here every week. I am proud for all of the things I do. 
I get to represent the, the land of the freaks and the home that we call Open Stage every week. Thank you. Thank you.